In this video, we will discuss some of the common problems and error messages that can occur when trying to sign in. The most common problem that occurs when signing in is you forgot your password. If you have forgotten your password, we provide a way to reset it. To reset your password, just click on this link here. Forgot your password. And just as it says at the top of the sign-in area, a reset password email will be sent to you. And that email will help you reset your password. After you see that message, go to your email program and look in your inbox. There should be an email in there called Reset Password Instructions. If you feel you've waited long enough and you still not have received our email, check your spam folder or your junk mail folder. Let's open the reset password email and see what it looks like. When you open it, you will see that it includes a link that you can click on. The link is titled Change My Password. When you click on this link, that will open your default web browser to our Change Your Password website. Enter your new password two times. Click on the Change Password button. And if you see the words hello in the upper left corner of your browser, that means that you have reset your password and you are now signed in at our website. Now you have to go back to the word search program and sign in there with your new password. Now, at this time, we are going to discuss some error messages that can occur when trying to sign in or when dealing with sign-in problems. If you get this error message trying to sign in, the email address and password provided do not match our records. That means you have either misspelled your password or you have misspelled your email address. To work this problem, start off by deleting and retyping your password. Make sure you are using capital letters or lowercase letters correctly. If you are still getting this error, Reset your password like we showed you earlier. If you have reset your password, but you are still getting this error, check the spelling of your email address. Start off by deleting and retyping your email address. Make sure you are using the at symbol correctly and that you are using a period in the domain name. Now, if you are trying to reset your password and you get the following error message, we are not able to locate an account with the email you provided. This can mean one of several things, such as, number one, you do not have an account with us, or number two, you do not have an account with us that is associated with that email address that you are typing in, or number three, you have an account with us, but you do not have the ability to access that account online. 
In either of these cases, we recommend that you contact our customer service department and ask them for assistance. They can be reached at 1-800-888-9898. Their hours are 8 a.m. Central Standard Time until 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, Monday through Friday. And on Saturday, their hours are 10 a.m. Central Standard Time until 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you'd like to email them, their email address is sales at wordsearchbible.com. And finally, here is our last example of an error message that, that can occur when you are trying to sign in. Email address already exists. This error occurs when you are trying to sign in at the register for an account page. Notice how there are three fields on this page. The sign-in pages and the sign-in area, they only have two fields. This one has three. To correct this error, click on the sign-in tab here in the upper left-hand area of this window. In the sign-in page, you will see only two fields to fill in one for your email address and another for your password. Okay, so once you have successfully signed in, you will see your email address in the upper right corner of the program. At this point, you can unlock, download, and install the inventory of books that are in your, in your account. To unlock the books in your account, just uh, click on Help, and then click on Unlock Purchased Books.